Our vision is to have autonomous plant operations where the operators go from reactive work to more proactive work. And by using new technologies such as POT, we want to free up time for the operators and to have more stable process operations. We're here in Amsterdam at Cargill Multiseat. My name is Martin Blommenstein. I'm plant manager of this location. And we're going to have a look inside at Spot the Robot Dog. The objective of the smart manufacturing team is to realize the leadership's uh, vision for the plant of the future. So we have many projects going on um, across our facilities in Europe and uh, other regions to uh, enable our uh, company to reach that vision. Our vision for plant of the future involves uh, moving toward an autonomous plant. So a self-driving plant where the people working can focus on continuous improvement and improving efficiency. Spot builds a few of those gaps. We're an old factory. We are uh, 45 years, even plus 45 years uh, old now. If you would build a new plant, you would have sensors everywhere on every machine. But yeah, we don't have that. So uh, that's why Spot really can contribute there and uh, giving extra insights to all the machines that doesn't have all these sensors. We're using the thermal uh, camera for monitoring assets. We have a lot of rotating assets in the plants, a lot of mechanical assets. Acoustic-wise, we're checking for air and steam leaks. And these are assets that we didn't have data and insights into before. In the past, our maintenance team did the inspection just by walking through the, the, through the factory, and you don't get any data from that. So now we could with Spot, we have the data and we can uh, compare them with last week's, last year's, or yesterday's data. Spot can do this every hour, always the same distance, always the same quality data collection, and that's key for us. Orbit is the robotic feed management system and the data platform for our robotic system. So what we're currently using it for is to manage our spot, to schedule missions and to view the data and share the insights we get there from there. When you start your shift, you check in, you look at the data, what spot has collected, and then you could trust it. That is the same way as it was collected yesterday, a week before, a month ago. Spot gives me more data and more insight of our assets with the Cargill. We make oil from seeds. So we have presses, decanters, pellet mills, all sorts of big equipment. And if those fail, you have like a big problem because it's very hard work to get them working again and because they lose a lot of product and also a lot of money and a lot of time. Key to us is to have stable and predictable operations and no surprise breakdowns. And I've seen already a couple of examples where Spot detected certain out of order situations, which really prevented us from having unexpected shutdown. Spot has found us some overheating bearings lately, which was a key finding because this asset is actually connected with the multiple assets which could have caused us some unpleasant downtime and also could have impacted multiple assets connected in this chain. A few weeks ago, we found an issue with our ventilation system. And because of Spot being consistent in the measurements, we found out we needed to use another type of grease. We would never find the issue without Spot. One of the things we've been recently trialing out is AI visual inspections. So we're using the robot to walk around the plant, check things out, and then assess via the AI natural language questions what it finds. So you locate what you're trying to capture, you take a picture, and then at the end, you basically ask a question, and this question could be a numerical one, a yes or no, or even an open-ended one. For Cargill, safety comes first, and that also includes people safety, but also food safety. We want to avoid slipping hazards, tripping hazards, and any unsafe conditions in the plant. Some of the prompts we are using with Spot today are around that. We are checking if doors are left open. That is a control around pests and housekeeping. We are checking our 5S boards, our safety signs, and our fire extinguishers, whether they're in place or whether they're working. Side view is a 360 plant view. What we're currently using it for is to support our food and safety quality team by basically having another set of eye in the plant. Spot walks this route multiple times a day 
and then you can identify leaks of seeds and oil early and you can also historically look back Since the very start, when we got involved with Boston Dynamics and Spot, we saw the robot as a vehicle to ease the day-to-day -day activities, manual activities of the operators. We invest in our people by buying these kind of new technologies and collaborate with uh, yeah, Boston Dynamics. Eh? So it helps to, uh, to show that we also invest to be there in the next 45 years. It's not about replacing operators or the workforce. We want to give them the best tools to do the job right. Many people are retiring the coming year, so attracting new talent is really key for us. And we've seen that having Spot running around, it's a very attractive element for some new process operators. Well, actually, the reason I uh, came work for, uh, for Cargill is because of Spot, because I wanted to use the new innovations that are available at the market right now. And I have a vision of how that will work and will help the, our industry, especially our reliability of our plants. Well, I sleep better that I know that Spot is working the night shift. So in Cargill, we see Spot as uh, being the ears and eyes of our operators and maybe in the future, even the nose. When we think of value, it's easy to uh, try and put a dollar figure on, on what we found. We avoided a downtime and that can be associated with some money saved. But in addition to that, we see SPA as an investment to Cargill's future. It's that kind of technology that we want to bring to our plants to uh, assist our people to do their job better.